on. Yeah. Like that. Grim tour, like doing the the, uh, the eight shows where I'm playing just the album screen, it's I'm gonna kind of be bummed out when it's over. Tomorrow night's the last show. I think there's a, maybe there's a there's some type of a triumphant feeling that you get from playing something entirely new to an audience that has been in your audience for a long time. And they're reacting and responding so well to it. It's like, um, it's it's so encouraging. It's like it's like the audience letting me know that they're behind me, supporting me in whatever creative thing that I want to do, even if, even if it means coming out and doing something so different, visually and musically, and they're not even familiar with it. It also oddly takes me back to the early days of my career when I pretty much had to do that: go out on stage, play music that people, most of the people in the room didn't know, and have to. Um, have to get that over and get that across powerfully and uh, I, I spent a lot of years doing that and it's an exciting feeling and it's different to go out and play songs even going off the map and playing obscure songs from older albums or um, more obscure songs that some people in the audience might not have heard because they didn't buy that record because I have 15 albums now um, it's still different because a large number of people in there are going to like it, you know, and they're going to know it, and they're going to be hardcore fans that, that will sort of take pride in being the only ones in that group that actually really know all the words that song or whatever, but it's a different thing than bringing out something brand new, um, especially stylistically, and getting such a great response from it. It's been really exciting, and, I, and, and it's not, like, once the album's out, I won't, I won't be able to duplicate it, <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to do it some more before the album's released.